Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from Elor Digital Office. In this video, we will be showing you how to create a backup in Elor Office and restore data. The backup function in Elor Office is an incremental backup. This means that all existing backups are checked for matching data each time you perform a new backup, and a new backup is only created if there are any changes. Ideally, you should back up data on an external hard drive or a USB stick. Make sure the drive or USB stick is not always connected to the system and that the physical devices are stored at different locations after backup. We also recommend that you create multiple backups. The ELO Office Data Backup Program backs up all existing ELO repositories. It's important to remember that if you delete any documents in ELO, before you perform a backup, you won't be able to restore them afterwards. You can find more information about this in the ELO Office Manual. Open ELO Office. Open the ELO menu. Click Data Backup. The ELO Office program will now close. The default browser opens to the ELO Office Backup home screen. When you start the ELO Office Backup program for the first time, the Configure Backup Paths dialog box opens. Select a backup device or backup directory. You will see a list of the available drives as well as any cloud directories. Click the medium or directory you want to use. The dialog box closes. The folder ELO Office Backup is created on the selected device or directory and can be used for the ELO Office Backup. You can now start the backup process. In this tutorial, we show you how to start the ELO Office Backup from the ELO menu. Open ELO Office and then the ELO menu. Click Data Backup. The ELO Office program will now close. The default browser opens to the ELO Office Backup home screen. Once you have selected a target directory, it will be coloured dark blue. You can also start the ELO Office Backup function from the Windows Start menu. If you do this, the program will close. It's important to remember you can only use one target directory for each backup. Click Start Backup. The backup process now starts. The program checks your data for any changes and creates a new backup if necessary. This may take a few moments depending on the size of your repository. A message will appear to say that the backup is complete. You can now close the browser window. To perform a data recovery, let us assume the following scenario. A hardware problem or some other unexpected issue means that you have to do a clean install of ELO Office. After installation, you need to restore the data from an existing backup. Following a clean install, you need to start the ELO Office Data Restore function from the Windows Start menu. The ELO Office Backup home screen opens in Recovery mode. If you have multiple backup directories, select the one you want to use. Click Start Restore. The recovery process starts. Once the process is complete, a message pops up to say that the data restore was successful. We hope that you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to visit our ELO Office website or contact our customer service team or ELO Office support. Thanks for watching and see you next time.